Hey y'all, welcome back to Handmade by Hat Creek. It's been about four months since I filmed a crafting video and I have been busy. I um, made another baby set for a lady at our church. She had a little girl and I made her a blanket, pair of socks, and a little dress. And I'll try to insert a picture of that here. And I've been buying yarn. I've been working on a couple other projects. Um, I still have some of my socks I haven't finished. I have that pink pair, the blue pair, the Halloween pair. I've kind of set those to the side for a while. I have been working on Mr. Hat Creek's socks. And I got the first one completely finished. And now I am working on the second. I'm doing the leg portion. Um, he wears a size 15 shoe, and uh, so he wears really big socks. And so I've also taken up another hobby, sewing, and I'm not very good at it, but um, I used to buy, or I was buying those little cute little bags to hold my crochet in. And they're really cute, and they're really well made, and I love the ones that I have bought, but normally they're between $35 and $55. And I thought, you know what? I don't need something that high quality just for around the house or, you know, going here or there. And so I thought some fabric and I started making my own. And that's not gonna say I'm not gonna buy one somebody else made if I find one I really like. But so far, um, the ones I've made, I've been pretty happy with. So back in January, I made this one. They're just simple little drawstring bags. Um, the first ones I never even lined, I just, sewed into a simple little bag. In January I made this one and then this one was the first one I did and I just it just has one string on it. That's before I figured out how to do the two drawstring thing. And then this one. And then also in January I made some slip covers for our pillows on our couch. I have a couple little 12 by 12 pillows on the couch. And uh, so I made this one. This pillow just slips in it. And then for Valentine's Day, I made this on one side. And I have a bag somewhere for my um, crochet and knitting that's just like this one. It's this on the outside and this on the inside, but I have no idea where it's at. It may be in the car. And then there's this one that I made and it's got, these are my Valentine socks that I started and I didn't get very far with them. But I'm just gonna set them aside and I'll pick them up later. Um, but this is the inside of that bag. It's little flowers. So, but, I'll tuck that back away. So that's kind of the work in progress as I have is I have this pair of socks and I have a baby blanket that I'm working on for my son's teacher. She's going to have a baby any day. And so I'm crocheting this blanket. It'll just be a repeat of these colors. And I'm going to make her a little dress. She's also having a girl. And uh, so I'm making, I've started, this is the yoke of the dress. And I'm using this mandala sparkle again. I really like this yarn. It's really cute. And it's really pretty and feminine. So that's what I'm using for that. For the blanket, I'm using this Yarn Bee Second Chance from Hobby Lobby for the gray. And then for the pink and the green, these are our Michaels brand of yarn. It's called Big Twist. And this is Sage and Rose. So those are the yarns I'm using for that. The other thing I did finish also is I made Mr. Hat Creek a pair of slipper socks. I knitted these. And they worked up pretty quick because it's a number six bulky yarn, so it didn't take long at all to make these. Um, so I got those done. Um, I'm glad he doesn't watch my videos because they're going to be an anniversary present for him. And so other than that, sewing a few things 
and just crocheting away. I've started making these little knit dishcloths. This is called Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth Pattern. I love these. These knit up really easy. It takes me maybe two hours to knit one of these up. It's just something I do when I'm watching YouTube at night or if we're in the car. I just need what I call mindless knitting where I don't have to think about it. I just make that. And then I've made a couple of these covers for my Swiffer. It's just um, regular cotton yarn and then they have a scrubby yarn that you can buy to uh, make dishcloths and stuff out of. I just held the two together and made that and I made some dishcloths out of the same scrubby stuff. So that's about all I've been working on knitting and crocheting wise. Um, I have bought a bunch of new yarns and uh, I'm glad Mr. Hat Creek doesn't watch this because he'd probably be very upset. Probably not. But anyway, um, I'll tell you where I got all these. And this has been over several months that I've been buying these. It's not like I just bought them all yesterday. So if he is watching, um, I got this from one of my favorite yarn shops, Stitching with Yarn. They're out of Oklahoma. This is like a camouflage. She calls it Shorewood Forest Sarda Sparkle Sock. And it's 75% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, and 5% lurex. I'm not sure. I bet that's a little flex. And uh, it's a 100 gram skein. But I love camo. That's my favorite color. And it's a little sparkly. So I'm going to make myself a pair of socks with this. And I've also ordered from her. This is Birthday Wishes sock set. And I'm not sure if I showed this before or not. But I got this back in like October. But this is the 100 um, gram skein and then two minis. And then I got this crimson. And this isn't really cream. It's called mushroom. But I didn't really see a cream one. And so everyone knows that I love my Sooners. And so this is for me some socks for football season. And then I'm going to use this for the heel and the toe and the cuff. And then the other yarn I got is by my other favorite yarn store, which is three by the sea um and this is a little um this is it's called sweetheart um candy hearts mini set for valentine's day but they could be eastery too and so those are just some mini skeins they're 50 or 20 grams each and so i'm gonna combine these and make a little stripey sock or something and uh this is a fingering weight and then the other ones i got I've got a lot of sock yarn. I've got this one from Hobby Lobby and this one from Hobby Lobby. And then I've got, this is a Hobby Lobby one. I got this a long time ago and it's just been in my stash, but I'm on like a sock knitting kick. So this is also an older Hobby Lobby one I've had for years in my stash that I just, when we were moving into our new place, um, I found some totes of yarn and then I bought these recently and I don't remember where I got these either at Joann's or at um, Michael's but they're a patent brand and they're socks and I've got two more of these and then the other thing I bought yarn is this mandala cake and this is from Walmart and the lion's brand yard is the only yarn I'll buy at Walmart I'm an admitted yarn snob I do not like red heart super saver it's itchy it's nasty and it is like I don't know. I just, not my favorite yarn. I wouldn't ship Red Heart Super Saver to my enemy. But I'm a yarn snob. And some people, they love it. But I do not love it. It's just the feel of it for me is a texture thing. But, so upcoming projects, I'll probably start another pair of socks. Um, I'm going to try to finish Big D socks. And I'll probably start a pair of Easter socks. And uh, I just, I knit to relax. I don't, I'm not in any hurry. I don't get in any big rush. And so upcoming projects I have to do is St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And so I bought these fabrics at Hobby Lobby to make a couple of project bags and some pillow slip covers for my pillows. And that's really all that's been going on around here. Um, hopefully I'll have more homesteading content soon. Um, our mama, you, sheep, Miss Daisy is having a baby any day. So, um, we will see how long it takes her to have. This will be her first baby. 
and Jojo is going to be the daddy. And so last night we did separate the boys. We took uh, Jojo and Duke, or Buck, Duke, whatever, Duke, Buck. I don't remember what the kids named that goat that we got from Sawyer Ridge Farm. And we put him, we put those two boys back over with um, Fred and the bro pen, as we call it. And so I'm pretty sure that um, Molly and Adele are bred. And I know for a fact that Daisy is bred. So we should be having babies soon. And so, yeah, that's kind of all that's been going on. There's not been a whole lot. We're fixing to get into garden season, and that's super exciting. And then we have some meetups coming up. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all have any suggestions of yarns that y'all like, or places that you get fabric that you like, or patterns that you think I should try, drop them down in the description below. And, uh... If you like this type of content, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Thumbs up, thumb down, interaction. It's all great. We did finally reach a thousand subscribers and I'm so grateful to Mike and Les at DD5 and Tim at Ridge Life and everybody else who has helped us um, put our name out there and helped us get to that 1,000 subscribers, but we need a ton of watch hours. For some reason, all of our watch hours, but about 200 have just vanished. And I know that they roll over, but it was weird that we had like 2,500 and then all of a sudden overnight we hit a thousand subs and then all of our watch hours disappeared. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but if you guys could run our playlist, we would greatly appreciate that. And we hope you have a blessed day.